Jamal LaSalle's, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Oh, hello Newcastle fans, how are you doing? You alright? I'm back from New York, which you can see behind me. I'm depressed, I've got the holiday blues, but it's back to back to day to day life of running Newcastle Fans TV. I did try, I got about 3 or 4 videos out in New York, so hopefully they were okay for you. So I look a bit rough. Um, I've just slept for 16 hours. I've done a quick video last night with Will, but now this is going to be, roughly I'm going to be doing 5 videos on the spin, and this is the first one. And it's just literally get back to track now. So this story broke last night. I am late by 24 hours on this one. Where Rolanda Arons has signed a five-year deal. Switch to St. James Park. There we go. Back to Let's get back to things. So you signed a new five-year deal after, well, a couple of years of speculation that you would he not would he believe in because it was strong room, as I have to say. And I was one of those who believed that that was going to be a free agent. Uh, but he signed a new five-year deal. He's obviously got a young child as well, which he's quite happy to admit. And obviously uh, his girlfriend as well, who travels between Northern Ireland and back to see him, I believe. I may be wrong on that. Um, I've also had a couple of banter with Rolando on Twitter as well. So he does interact. Um, he's my second favourite my second favorite player at the club behind Iosi Perez. I think he's got a bright future. He just needs to stay clear of injuries. And he could be a star for us on this left wing this season, hopefully. He knuckles down because he has got talent. He can score goals. He can beat his man. He's got pace to burn, and he's got the he can deliver as well. The odd delivery as well. What he said, speaking to NUFC TV, he said, "It's something that's always going to happen, but it's always nice to get it done." I love the club, and this shows it even more. Under the new manager, there's a project, and it's a forward-thinking club now. So I'm happy just to be part of the manager has in store for the club. I'm happy that he has faith in me. I like to repay him and the fans and my family for this opportunity and then Newcastle's statement went on to read Aaron's has put pen and paper in a new deal which will keep him at St James's Park until the summer of 2021 the 20 year old joined the Magpies Academy in 2012 after a spell at Bristol City and progressed through the ranks at Tyneside now he also wants to become an England player within the next four years as well so have a look at this uh, footage when I remember I grew up supporting Arsenal and then <laughs> It was a game or something like that. If I lost, you have to support Man United or something like that. And then I think we lost. And then, yeah, I've supported Man United since that. I don't know if that makes me a fake fan, but I'm right there. So where do you see yourself as a player in five years' time? Uh, what year is it now? Well, in four years' time, I hope to be in the next Euros with England. And, um, yeah, just an international and playing at a high level. So no secret that he's a Man United fan there either, is it? <laughs> right, so he signed. Absolutely delightful. Uh, great news for Newcastle. He's going to go on to bigger and better things. Hopefully sticks around with Newcastle for the time being as well because he seems settled um, with Kevin and Babu who he lives with as well. I've been Liam Hawk, Newcastle Fans TV. And thanks for understanding that I'm tired. <laughs> See you later.